the, the vehicle behind us was on I-80 eastbound and decided to make a U-turn, which is behind us at the median. Made a U-turn in front of a vehicle going westbound. The vehicle is hit, and the vehicle behind us right here burst into flames. And the vehicle also had a bridge wide burst into flames because they had a, a gas can in the back of the trunk. That's a miracle that somebody would survive that campfire crash like that? Yes, it's a miracle that no one got hurt and everyone survived. Excuse me, you just survived a really horrific, fiery car accident. You're standing here talking to me. Your car just burst into flames. You were inside of it when it got hit. Tell me what happened and what that was like. Uh, what, what had happened pretty much is uh, I've never used these U-turns before, and I decided to use a U-turn. I see people do it all the time. And it turned out really bad for me because next thing I know, I was rear-ended. And uh, I could just feel my car going across 80. And uh, next thing I know, I'm where my car is at right now. And I could see the flames in the back of my trunk because I had a uh, can of gasoline in the back of my trunk. So I think that burst. And uh, that's pretty much all I can recall. I was just trying to find my cell phone to call 911. Did you have a hard time getting out of the car at all? Uh, no. I just, I just opened the door and got out, pretty much. Okay, um, you know you're not supposed to make new turns in the middle of the expressway. Were you lost at all? You're not familiar with the area? Or Absolutely. What um, what had happened is, uh, I was at work and I was getting my boss some gas because he had ran out of gas, uh, going eastbound on 80. And, uh, I'd passed him and I, I, he said to hustle, so what I decided to do was to take that U-turn to get there quicker, otherwise I'd have to go all the way to uh, Manuka, I believe, just to get back down 80 west, and just to get back down 80 east, because that's where he was pulled over, it's on the side of the road over there. Okay. You, obviously, you've got to be, I mean, you are very fortunate to be alive. You could have been killed in this accident. Look at that car. I can't believe anybody you walked away from it. I can't believe that I'm unscathed, seemingly unscathed. I'm just incredibly glad that the other guy is fine. He seems fine, and that's all I was really worried about. My car can go to hell. I just, as long as that guy was okay, I mean, that's what was important to me. Okay, um, let me ask you something. If anybody's watching this and they want to do a U-turn in the middle of its busways, what would you like to say to them? And, and talk about it a little bit. Well, I definitely say we've all seen people use the uh, unauthorized vehicles, uh, you know, U-turn. We've all seen people use them, and uh, it's just, it's not what to do. It's uh, it's incredibly hard to see the, any cars coming because of the uh, meridian between the uh, Interstate 80. So definitely do not, don't take a U-turn at those. Okay, anything else you want to say about it? Want to say your family? Uh... Say thanks to my mom and stepdad for coming out uh, as quick as they could to uh, make sure that I'm fine. Do you want to say to God for saving your life? <laughs> yes, I'd definitely like to thank God for uh, my fortunate, uh, my good fortune of still being able to walk and talk and all that good stuff. Okay, all right, thank you very much.